Welcome back folks to Let's Play Dead Knights of Kryn. Last time we left off. Oh boy. I've completed the game. But because Aurelia died in the last fight, I had to restart the fight and then whoop this. And uh, it seems like OBS forgot to record DOS. I had to completely restart the Windows because I couldn't get it working again. So we are gonna be here and I'm gonna speed through this because I don't really have the patience as a human being to put up with the shit technology today is a band of marauding retards uh, annoys you okay cool can you please die don't don't you motherfuckers i am not in the mood come on just just die now i am not in the mood for this shit so get the fuck out of here pack your things get out of there I, i'm really pissed like the software today, today's software is really, really retarded. It doesn't work. Yes, there is a plate mail plus four and some shit. So Adrian, take all of this shit. Okay. Now. A fucking clear, no, I don't want to go there. What is, what? I cannot create file Steam Dungeons and Dragons Green Save Game Explore that? Uh, don't care. Thank you, Steam. Thank you. Imagine how much I care. I don't really care. Let's get this. It's it's the last stretch. Yes, uh, no, I don't want to kill myself. I want to encamp, fix, rest, get all my spells back. More retards. Can you please stop? Thank you. Can I now rest? Or are you going... Okay, good. Now, move. Yes, I want to climb the stairs. You reach the top floor of Dagger Keep, the decaying stone walls are slimy to the touch. Rats peers at you from their nest behind ancient mole covered tapestries. A spiral staircase descends into darkness before you. No, I don't want to go down. A deep voice we need to keep. Look before you. Chew of. Yes, yeah, we need to pick the right door. A flash of light blinds you momentarily. When your vision clears, you find that the door you just passed through has been transformed into solid rock. Yeah, 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 yeah. More choices. You need to choose, foolish mortal. Be careful, for the wrong lore door leads to death. A flash of lights momentarily blinds you, mo and when your vision clears, we can go forward. Sorry, guys. I'm just, dis just pissed off. So, you've made it this far. I have no doubt that you will get no further. If you say so. Lady Lenore is huddled here, waiting for you. I must tell you, Sir Durfey and I were overcome by death knights on the road. He gave his life so I could escape. They took his body when they left. I fear the worst. She looks fearful. They're looking for me now. Please protect me. I'll give you some information in return. For starts, there's a secret passage right ahead of you. The North Fall is in place behind the party. A flash of light, blah blah blah. Yeah, arrows slits. Is that going to be? No. Let's keep on moving. Let's go this way. Uh, that's going to be the secret passage. Adapted passage lies before with a lot of cobwebs. The passage narrows sharply. The composing rats lead at the floor. Thank you for telling me that. The passage is so tight that here you must scroll in single file. Okay, so we made it. Let's go this way. The two statues flanking this door slowly turn their heads towards you. Their iron eye glows with yellow light. Turn back. Attack. The statues become fully animated and return your attack. Yeah, you can return my attack. But I'm gonna kill you first. Oh, oh, oh. You're gonna do zero damage, right? Because this mace does zero damage for some reason. It's... Oh my god, Jesus. There you go. Are you happy now? Okay, you need to do something. And... Fantastic. We're gonna have to guard, you're gonna miss, you're gonna miss. How about we move, like, here and guard? You're gonna do zero damage, of course. Now you're gonna move, like, that and guard. There you go, there you go, that's what I want to see. Beat this dude into submission. And guard, kill this guy. Okay, dude is dead, keep on moving. Before you stand the remain of your former former comrade, Sir Durfey, its head swivels towards you. 
Arictus Green passed on its features, a feathery whispered issues for Friends, so good to see you, please join me. It shuffles forward, arms grasping towards you. Spectres appear to join the battle. Laughter echoes from deeper in the keep. Well, that's a convenient thing. Can we turn this, guys? No, of course. Targaryen gets fucked. Okay, well, Targaryen has already reached the level, the maximum level, so we don't really care. So next, we're going to go with a delayed blast fireball. And we're going to cast it. Okay, you already moved, so... Well, it's your time now. Okay, you had to leave this Spectre at 5 HPs now. Oh my god. Kill just kill this dude. You missed this... Okay, guys. Stop. You had to hit me. Okay. Done, done, done. There is nothing I want to take. So let's leave everything. Dorfus Grictus Green finally relaxes, and his clothed fingers uncurl. In this final death you recognize the Durfy you knew and befriended. Yeah, sad story. Uh, there is nothing on my right, because this is like a castle, as you can see the map is already explored. And uh, here is the final fight, so we're gonna encamp now. And we're gonna be casting some magic, so you can, first of all... I want you to cure light wounds the people that suffer some damage, right? Exactly, that's what I wanted to do, cure a full uh, party member, okay. Prayer, first of all. Fantastic, bless. Fantastic too, protection from evil on Elsa. I want resist fire on uh, Auralia. Okay, uh, everything has been Done, so cast, you got resist fire on Sariel, resist fire on Anya. Alright, we got plus protection from evil, protection from evil on, let's say, Torgrim. Okay, now we need more resist fires, I think they're over here. Okay, resist fire on Elsa, resist fire on Sir Adrian. Well, we have one spell, Resist Fire, so we're gonna cast it on uh, Tolgrim. Just in case I forgot... You know what I'm saying, trying to say, right? Okay. So, how about we start casting some spells? We have Enlarge. Man, to think it took me like 20 minutes to get here the first time, and now I'm just blasting through. Enlarge your PP on Sir Adrian. Auralia and a larger PP on Sariel. Now, Elsa, please cast a larger PP on Anya. Okay, cast Baskin on obviously Elsa. Um, you can cast nothing, you can cast haste. Actually, Iron Skin first, um, Mirror Image second. We're gonna go with haste. And also, I think we are fine as if we are. So let's get ready for the battle. Okay, move forward. Lord Sot stands before you. So, he says, you have passed my little tests. You have earned the right to join my army. Be assured that you will do so after your deaths. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so. How do we go about this? We have the late blast fireball, which could be useful if they do not. Yeah, it could be useful. You you didn't get the memo. Just cast it. Thank you. Okay, someone, a couple of them will get spared, but wow. Okay, let's remove you from the equation. You move like here. Okay, you need to remove Lord Sot, by the way. Thank you. Okay, kill this guy and kill this guy now. Okay, let's remember we have to kill these guys before they cast the fireball. We do so by winning initiative, so it's quite random. Maybe hate. Okay, we cannot use the Mace of Disruption because it doesn't work on these golems. And the Darts of Ordnance Nest deals zero damage to these guys, so... 
Okay, now I need to remember how to kill these guys with magic. I don't know if you can. You can check that though. Okay, uh, seize invisible. It has zero magic resistance, so it's, it doesn't say what is what. Also, am I recording? Now we have this... Yes, I'm recording. Okay, good. Okay, you move forward. Kill this guy. Now, kill this... How did you miss? How? That's a critical miss, probably. Okay, you probably... You can do something, I think. There you go. Little thing. You can do stuff. And this is the final fight, guys. There you go. Okay. Continue battle? No. 16k experience. Fantastic. Sot begins to regenerate. Do you strike him with the Rod of Omniscience? Yes. The rod erupts with a whirlpool of energy. You stand back as things are drawn into the Nexus. As Sot is pulled inside, he cries, Kitiara, help me! Then his body disappears into the Maelstrom, gone to another dimension. Okay, stop music. Like, really. Okay, st st stop. S s stop. Stop. Okay, stop. S m music, stop. M music? You, you, you have to stop, please. No, 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 stop. We're done. Stop. No, st stop. Stop. Stop! Thank you. No, sh sh shut up. The Nora leaps toward the road when the whirlpool begins to dissipate. Do you try to stop her? So, I said no. <coughs> last time. And it works out for the better. So, if I say yes, what happens? You struggle with Lenore, surprised at her strength and ferocity. She shouts, you are dealing with Kitiara, not some pale thief. Release the rod now, I am still in your debt for freeing me from Sot. Release it, and you will leave. She touches the rod's tip and murmurs an incantation. Her eyes open in surprise as the rod explodes into a new whirlpool. That fool Sebas lied to me. I have destroyed the rod. You are sucked into the maelstrom. Kitiara is drawn away from you and disappears. All right, well. The knights on duty look startled at your sudden appearance. Recognizing you, he shouts, The rescuers of Sturm's body have returned. Follow me to the knights' council. Okay, so it works the same. The council meeting quickly breaks up when you are brought in. They call for your tale. The ranking knight pronounces, We are very proud of your amazing achievements. Crean will rest much easier with Lord Sot's demise. Uncovering Arziella's treachery in Calamans was also a stroke of genius. I'm sure you have suffered horribly in the taking of Dargar's escape. The clerics have returned with Strom's body and he, was, and he has been interred again. All the knights of Solamnia salute your achievement. It sounds as though Kitiara has also been transported from our dimension. There is now no leader for the evil forces that rally around. You have succeeded where no others could. Relax and travel as you will. You will not be called again until a few crises appears. A new crisis appears. We have hopefully seen the last of the dead knights of Kryn. The meeting breaks up and you are f left on your own. Yeah, um, about that. I would like to find a temple, by the way. Yes, I wish to leave. Okay, can I encamp save on, say, B now? Okay. Yeah, we can flee. You try to flee, but the game is harassing you. Okay. Because why not? Right? You try to flee, but the game decides to, hey, we just want to harass you, so... How about that? How about that? So, how about the fireball, guys? How do you feel about the fireball? I think the fireball is a cool thing, cool feature. Oh, boy. I cannot get them both. Nope. Seems like I... Ooh! No, I cannot. Oh, it's also outside, so I probably won't hit anyone. Yeah, pretty much. Well, luckily I rushed through the final fight, so we have some time left. Now, I have a question. Now, the game says that Elsa can level up, but we all know that Elsa has reached level cap, right? 
Which brings me to the next question. Now, if I level up Elsa, does the game allow me to level up Elsa? And if so, if so, when I cast Restoration, will I be able to restore two levels or just one level? That would be a great thing to know. For science purposes, obviously. I mean, I'm gonna keep it if it works. Oh my god, just, just die. There you go. Okay, no, I don't want... No, please stop. Okay. Mm-hmm, uh-huh, mm-hmm. Flee, please. Thank you. Move. Okay, let's go to Vingard. Okay, let's do some science. There is still one thing I... Shut up, shut up, shut up. Okay, there is still some, uh, some uh, something I have to do with this game, which is the Dave's Challenge, which we're gonna do next episode. Okay, so this is the temple, right? So what happens if I train Elsa first? Yes, I want to train Elsa. She becomes a level 13 ranger. Okay, so... Okay... We train you now. Come again, so if I go here... And I... Heal Elsa... Restoration? Oh, it just removed the level drain. Okay. Okay, it just removed the level drain. It doesn't... Okay. Mm-hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. It is sad. It is sad. You have Taco minus one? Okay, what happened exactly here? We did it count the taco. I don't know what happens. If Maybe this was already here like that. I don't quite know. What do I know? I don't know anything about this. Let me just get out of this place. Alright. Well, I'm glad everything worked out in the end. I don't want to enter. Now I want to fix my party. I want to... Wait a second. Elsa, memorize. Okay, nothing new. Okay, 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 okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So, about this game. Uh, yeah, it's still fun as the first one. The first one has a little bit of annoying in the fact that the taco makes the experience a little bit random, randomic. So basically you have to miss 500 times. Oh my fuck. Mm. Oh, we've never seen this enemy. It's a crocodile that felt the need to annoy the living shit out of me. Oh great. Okay, we're just gonna have to beat these guys into submission. I don't know how... It's gonna be... Guys, how much you have when it comes to, like, taco? 500? From behind, no backstab. Okay. okay. Feel free to kill me, by the way. Oh my god, I'm... I'm... That was a missed target. Can you stop? Like, seriously, can you fucking stop? Jesus. No, he cannot stop. He just has to go on and on and on. I probably need to cast some spells. Okay. Well, there's not much... Oh, you're gonna miss, of course. My good gods. Well, we never fought this guy, so it makes sense that we face them here. It's fine. If it, We're probably gonna kill them eventually. It's just annoying that I have to rest again. Well, not rest, because I didn't use any spell. Any spells. Um, probably just fix the party. Of Auralia is killed. Our fucking Ralia is fucking killed. So, you know what? Fuck this game. Gonna continue tomorrow with Dave's challenge. And, um, yeah. Um, the problem with... Yeah, it's just... The damage is stupid. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, also, how much taco do you have, motherfucker? You have four taco. Well, it kind of makes sense now. 
You are what? A hattery? You have 10 strength. Seems fair that you deal 3d12. 3d12s? 3d12 plus 0? One attack per round and 2d12. Wow, that's a lot. That's wild. All right, well. Hopefully Dark Queen of Queen will be less grieving. Grieving? Whatever the, ter the term. Grieving. Well, let's hope the, it applies less grief towards me. I remember when I was a kid, there was an underwater section. That is going to be a problem. Not gonna lie. Hopefully we'll find something for it. But, but, I will say, if you want to go through this game, do not take multi-classes. Um, not, not worth it, honestly. Just go for uh, a cleric, maybe two clerics. The only multi-class I can see you taking is probably a fighter thief. Alright, you get a knight or a paladin, whatever you want. You take then a fighter thief. You can take a cleric of neutrality and a cleric of good. You then have a mage of uh, red moon, a red robe mage and a white robe mage. That is also cool. Now, if you want a ranger, you can go with a ranger too. You can go with one less cleric. Or maybe, maybe you can do a cleric mage, right? You can make a cleric mage. And uh, if you want to really min-max the party, you can go with a cleric mage. I don't know. I don't really know, but maybe one cleric is enough. And you can go with three frontliners. Full classes? Okay, a thief full class pure? Um, I don't know. It kind of feels like a waste, because he levels up so much and he doesn't get anything aside from backstabbing. So maybe Thief is the only class that you can multiclass safely. Uh, I don't think you should be multiclassing a mage as a Thief or a cleric as a Thief, as I did with Anya. I think you probably might want to replace my Thorgrim, Fighter Cleric, with like a Fighter Thief. But that's about it. So enough talking about this game. We're going to continue next time with Dave's challenge. And then we're going to move to the Dark Queen of Kryn. The Dark Hot Girl of Kryn. Okay. So yeah, it, it's a fun trilogy. If you can get past the drain level and the bullshit on the overlead attacking you every two steps of the way. It's a fun game. Now a little bit uh, disappointing in the side missions. First of all, they give you maze plus four every time you go there, so the loot is kind of it's kind of weird. Mostly because this game is about undeads, so giving you maze plus four makes sense, but it kind of take kind of take kind kind of takes away the um, variety that Dungeons and Dragons is all about. You know, I didn't find a single two-handed sword. I didn't find. Um, I did find a hoopak, I think. A plus three. I didn't find any battle axe, any, you know, any other weapon other than maces and long swords. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. See you tomorrow with Dave's challenge, and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.